Oh, do we have an excellent post for you today. You know, in our post, we talked about doing something that had never been done before. We wanted to start a reporting series that looked at the data model from a completely different aspect, techno-functional. And to get techno-functional, what we had to do was we wanted to first take a look at the existing process, but then we wanted to tie it into what the data model actually meant. That's what we're doing here. You know, we look at this part, and you guys are going to notice that we're going to look at per, um, vendor product receipts, registration a little bit, and we're looking at the underlying data model, especially, I think, on things like VIN packing slip trans, perch line, invent trans. These are extremely, extremely powerful. Have you ever wondered, for example, if you've gotten maybe say a vendor has done a particular number of shipments and maybe you want to be able to tie in those number of shipments to the number of items that have been quarantined. Maybe you want to see how often a particular item per vendor is quarantined or how often something actually passes a quality check or how long it actually takes to get to the warehouse. Or maybe even how long it takes to sell. The fundamentals are right here in this series of tables. So I really hope that you enjoyed this new series and like it a lot. And I think it's going to really up a lot of the reporting game. Just so many implications and so many advantages to this particular post. I'll tell you guys, it's a big, big pleasure making this series. We've got 22 other parts to go. Make sure you pay attention. Watch very closely on that Invent Trans. And as always, if you all need anything at all, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you very much.